Oh! Hey guys, it's Lizard here, and in today's video, I mastered the fastest clicking method. I've gone over a lot of really fast clicking methods in the past, such as butterfly clicking, drag clicking, and even flying ball clicking. But this one might just be the most useless one yet. Let me explain. Just about every clicking method you can think of, jitter, butterfly, drag clicking, whatever it may be, only requires you to click with one hand. This clicking method needs both of your hands. In order to do this clicking method, you have to flip your mouse over upside down and hold it with your left hand, while placing your right hand underneath the mouse and then dragging both of them along your desk at the same time. I know it sounds really stupid, and it is. Here's what it looks like. Now I think you're starting to get a bit of an idea why I called this useless. In case you're still figuring that one out, it's because if you're using both hands on your mouse, that leaves zero hands for your keyboard. So unless you have three hands, or you're gifted with the ability to use your keyboard with your foot, you're not going to be able to use this for anything practical. On top of that, when you do this method as your mouse is upside down, the sensor doesn't register anything, so all you're doing is standing unable to turn where you're looking, so you're basically just kind of stuck. You can't walk, you can't turn your head, you just get high CPS. Now despite the complete inability to move with this clicking method, I still tried my best to use it. I'll be honest, it didn't really work out too good, but I'll show you anyway. Let's try to reduce against the spot. Oh, okay, okay, you know what, I'll take it, I'll take it. Maybe if I had more desk space I'd be able to reduce longer, but either way it's still not that useful. There were two main things that really helped me get even more CPS with this already insane clicking method. Number one was electrical tape, except this time it wasn't on the mouse. I taped down a full line of electrical tape on my desk, that way my finger would still get more friction while drag clicking my desk instead of the mouse itself. This actually helped quite a bit and increased my CPS by 20 or so. After doing that, I started to get around 70 to 80 CPS at most, and I realized there was one thing I still needed to do. This of course was to lower my debounce time to the absolute minimum. Now, as a lot of you know, I keep my debounce time on 4 milliseconds, for any real reason, not really. But in the case of trying to get an insane amount of CPS, lowering our debounce time is always good. I lowered my debounce time from 4 to 1 millisecond, and this helped me get over 100. And as you can see, I was a little bit excited about that. Oh! <laughs> no way! That was a hundred! No, this isn't fair. This is wrong. This is elite. No, that's not okay. For the record, I'm not using any macros either. See, single click, single click, boom, 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 boom. I'm not using a macro. This is literally just straight up, like, unfair. Like, like I, I don't even know what this Like, <laughs> why would this be useful? I, I don't know, but... As you can see, I'm pretty consistently able to get an insane amount of CPS that obviously I can't transfer into my games, but it's still pretty cool that I'm able to get it. However, it seemed that every once in a while I would run into the random issue of me feeling like I was doing the method right, but only getting about one click in a second. Tell me how this is one click per second. That does not sound like one click in a second. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. In all honesty, I don't really get what the difference is between what I was normally doing for 100 CPS and what gets me one click in a second. They sound the same, they feel the same, I don't know what the difference is. Either way though, this clicking method did work very well on my bloody A70 and it also works on a bunch of other mice. As long as your mouse can drag click, it should be able to bolt click as well. As it is a clicking method, if you're trying to do this it will take some practice, but it's pretty easy to get down as long as you know how to drag click already. Out of all the clicking methods I've learned, this definitely is one of the funniest to me. The most similar method I think I've already learned would obviously be flying ball clicking, which is where you hold your mouse in your hand and drag click along your desk with your finger hanging over the edge, which is the same concept of your finger dragging along the desk in order to get the clicks on the mouse. So how exactly does this compare to drag clicking? Most of the popular mice in the drag clicking community get on average somewhere between 20 to 60 CPS in a long drag click. However, bolt clicking is the fastest CPS method you can use, and it obviously gets a lot higher. You'll see most people that know how to bolt click getting over 100 CPS consistently. Myself, I'm still learning it a little bit, but obviously, even as a noob, I'm still able to get 100 clicks in a second, which is absolutely insane to me. Obviously, this method is completely impractical and is really only used to test the absolute true limit of clicks per second on any mouse. Drag clicking is without a doubt the more viable option, of course, as you can bridge, you can KB reduce, and much, much more. 
The thing is, if you already know how to drag click, this method will probably only take you a couple of minutes to learn anyway, so it is worth it and it's a lot of fun. As impractical as this clicking method is, it goes without saying that you shouldn't use this on any servers. Personally, if you're just standing still and just clicking for no reason, I think that's not causing any harm, but if you're somehow using this to give yourself an advantage over other players, then that's where it starts to get bad. As well as that, don't use it on Hypixel, obviously, because if you click 100 CPS for a couple seconds straight, my guess is you're gonna get banned. I might be wrong, but... I wouldn't take that chance if I were you. With that being said, that pretty much wraps it up, so if you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. We're getting super close to 4,000, which is absolutely insane, and if you want to help out, it's right down below. Also, join the Discord server, it's one of the first links down in the description. But with that being said, that is going to do it for today, so I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.